students i am shumita ma'am from delhi world public school how are you i hope all of you fine now today we will discuss about relation from plus 12 start before starting let us recall some concept so the pre-request topic is our number 1 set and number 2 ordered pair Pairs. So, what is the definition of set? Set. What is the definition of set? Set is the well-defined object. Collection of well-defined objects. Set is the collection of well-defined objects. Always true, like universally true. For example, suppose set of all planets in our solar system, because the planets present in our solar system are same for all. This is the universal true. Suppose set of all integers, set of all integers is denoted by z. This is the set of all integers plus minus one plus minus two. This is the set of all integers. Suppose set of all natural number. This is capital A. One, two, three, four, or set of set of colors rainbow. Set of color rainbow. All of you know there are total seven colors. This is a violet, indigo, red, orange, blue, green, and yellow. Total seven colors. And all of you know each Bengali word is Benia shop color. Set of all Real numbers. This all are set. That is, this is a universal true. Next definition or next point is our ordered pairs. What is the definition of ordered pairs? Ordered pairs. Suppose P and Q be two non-empty sets. Be two. Non-empty sets. Then the Cartesian product, Cartesian product, P cos Q is the set of all ordered pairs of elements from. This is a Cartesian product. P cos Q is the Cartesian product. All of you know that set of all ordered pairs of the elements P and Q, and it is denoted by so P cos Q and defined by small p. This is the small Q. So is that small p belongs to capital P and small Q belongs to capital Q. So that's why this is denoted by small bracket, small first bracket, and also. Group together in ordered, particular ordered. Okay. Next example. Example is suppose A is a set and B is a another set. A is a non-empty set. There is suppose one and two element and B is the another set. This is the A and B element here. This is the two element one and two. This is the L, also two elements A and B. Then A cos B, Cartesian product is denoted by is one A, one B, two A, two B. So there are total four elements. Okay. Now here the remarks. The remarks. Remarks. What is remarks? Number one. Number one. So suppose two ordered pairs, two ordered pairs are equal, are equal if and only if corresponding, corresponding first elements, 
first elements are equal and the second element second element also equal that is for example suppose one one of the pair is ab and another order pair suppose pq so if two if two pair order pair is equal if a equals to a this is the first element this is the first element of first order pair this is the first element for second order pair so a if a equals to p and b equals to q b equals to q then these two order pair are equal therefore our conclusion is a equals to b and p equals to q so this is the conclusion this is the number 1 remark number 2 remark number 2 suppose if number of elements number of elements of a a is the set of a set is p and number of elements of b is small q then number of elements of a cross b is p q for example for example suppose a equals to the set a equals to 1 and b element is suppose a b c so number of a is denoted by n of a here total 2 number of b here total is 2 One plus one two three. This is three. Then the number of element A cross B equals to P into Q. So this is the small P and this is the small Q. So this is P into Q. So now here, now what? A cross B. What is the A cross B? One A, one B, one C. Two A, two B, two C. This is one A, one B, one C. Two A, two B. Two C. So the total number of elements is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six, and this is two and three. Small p and small q value is two and three. This is two into three. This is the six. So same. And number three remark. If small a be a set, be any set, be any non-empty set, non-empty set, then a cross a cross a. is called ordered triplet and it's denoted by suppose small a b c such that small a belongs small a b c belongs to that is the third remark okay if you know understood okay next our definition is relation what is the definition of relation relation is so now our next definition is relation what is relation now definition of relation is we suppose we have to consider two set let us consider two non empty set two non empty set two non empty sets a and b then a relation r then a relation r from set a to set b is a subset of is a subset of a cross b this is the what order pair form A cross B. Okay, this one is our ordered pair form. Okay, so thus relation R from set A to set B. Okay, and R contains of A cross B or ordered pair form. 
Okay, in the mean, if we consider ki two set A and B, A equals to 1, 2 and B equals to suppose A, B, C. These two are non-empty set because what? Non-empty means there is at least one element exists. So now we have two elements in A and three elements in B. In that time, our order pair A cross B will be one contains suppose A, one B, one C. 2a, 2b and 2c. Now this is also a relation. Uh, 1a, 1b, 1c, 2a, 2b and 2c. Okay. This is our relation. Next one is a relation can be represent uh, three methods. Two methods are related to uh, algebraically and one method is a uh, Arrow diagram and arrow diagram is actually our visualization representation. So now, first one is a set builder form, and second one is a roster form. These two are our algebraically representation. Number one, set builder form. First one is our set builder form. And number 2 is our roster form. Okay. Number 2 is a number 1 is a set builder form. And number 2 is a roster form. These two methods are form or method. These two methods are algebraically representation of relation. And number three is the arrow diagram form or arrow diagram method. This is the visualization representation of relation. So, our arrow diagram is a very very much important uh, for the representation of relation. And this one is our if we consider the two say A and B our A equals to our A equals to if we consider A1 AB and our B equals to if we consider 1 2 in that time our arrow diagram will be and that means our A cross B will be this is our order pair form our relation will be A to 1 A to 2 B to 1 and B to 2 and its arrow diagram form will be suppose this is the A set, this is the B set. In that time, this one is A, B element in A exists and 1, 2 in B. So now A to 1, this is the A to 1, this is the A to 2, A, B to 1 and fourth one is the B to 2. This is the arrow diagram form. And this is the representation of visualization. Visualization represents of relation. Okay? And these two methods are Algebraically representation or algebraic method, set builder form and roster form. This two are also representation of our relation. Suppose if we consider it is set builder, set builder, that in that time, if we consider suppose R equals to X and Y, so that X is square of X is square of Y, then X belongs to A and Y belongs to B. And this will be, if we consider one, suppose, x is the square of y. x is square of y. So, if we consider y is 2, so this will be 4, square of 1. As suppose, this one is 3, then this will be 9. If we consider y is minus 3, in that time your x equals to 9. Suppose, your a, y is minus 2 in that time your x is 4 because 2 square and minus 2 on square is a our 4 and its arrow diagram representation will be this is the suppose a set b set and our 4 and 9 and this will be minus 3 minus 2 2 and 3 minus this one 9 is minus 3 and also 3 okay 
This one is our set builder representation. This is our set builder representation. And this one is our roster representation. This is our set builder method and this is our roster method. Roster method and this is the set builder method. Set builder method. Okay? So that means for this one, our 4 and 9 in A, these two are domain of R. Domain of R here, domain of R will be 4 and 9. And range of R will be, range of R will be minus 3, minus 2, 2 and 3. Similarly for this one, the previous one A and B is the domain from this set. Domain of R will be A and B and range of R will be range of R will be 1 and 2. Okay students? I think all of you understand it. So today up to it. Uh, thank you students. So dear students, uh, all of you will be attending my descriptive classes regarding this topic through online live class. Okay? Thank you. Bye.